Hi friends and welcome to Crumbs from Gerard. Today, 3rd December, we celebrate the feast of St. Francis Xavier. I want to tell you three things about St. Francis Xavier. The first you may have known. Francis Xavier studied in the best known university of his days, the University of Paris, and he wanted to be a professor, but then came under the influence of St. Ignatius of Loyola and became one of the original Jesuits. St. Francis Xavier is known as a saint in a hurry. In the 10 years that he came into the missionary country, he worked in India, Japan and Moluccas, and he crisscrossed all over India in order to bring people to God. The kind of work that he does is truly adventurous. He first of all, of course, taught children in a simple way, ringing a bell. But he is known to have worked with the poorest of the poor, kissing lepers and embracing them. He is told to have dined with headhunters. And in difficult circumstances, in the heat and bitter cold, he worked. You know that he died waiting for entry into China nearly alone, just one person with him. He brought tens of thousands to Christ and therefore he is known as one of the greatest missionaries of the church. The second quality of his, and this I am not sure whether you know, he was known for his cheerfulness. Let me share with you what different people had to say. Francis had a very cheerful face and here you have one of the passengers who travelled with him from Lisbon to India, he always looked happy no matter what his sufferings and burdens. Sometimes you can fool people outside, but it's difficult to fool your own community. And so here's what a Jesuit who lived with him in Basin, Masai, had to say about him. How affable he is, with his cheerful and serene face, always in smiles, for he always possesses a spiritual joy such that his charity and jubilee of spirit are mirrored in his face. And the quality I like best of his is his tremendous love for his companions. You think of a man here who wants to win people for Christ, crisscrossing India tirelessly. What a sensitive love and tender love that he had his companions. He tells them that he misses them so much that every day he thinks about them. And then he did something very interesting. He cut off the names from the letters and carried them around his neck on a chain. That much he missed them, that much he loved them. My dear friends, let us pray that we can have that kind of spirit of St. Francis Xavier, one who witnessed to Christ, not just by his words, but by the tender, cheerful face that he had and the tremendous love for people who lived with him. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Have a wonderful day with Jesus.